Happy Earth Day, nature detectives. I'm Conrad Baker. I'm an outdoor educator with the New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historic Preservation at Letcher State Park. And today, I have a nature mystery for you. I am surrounded by signs of spring. Plants putting out leaves and blooming. There are animals waking up and crawling through the dirt and feeding. There are all kinds of living things that are waking up and running this big show that we call nature, and one of them caught my eye. I think you can use your nature detective skills to help me figure out what it is. I'll show you what we're dealing with. What is this? This is crazy. I've never seen anything that looks like this in the woods before. At first I thought it might be a piece of an animal or uh, a wildflower or maybe uh, just a piece of plastic, part of, a, of some litter that someone had left in the woods. But no, I think we can use two nature tools today, our eyes and our fingers, our sense of touch to figure out what this really is. First nature clue, of course, the one that jumped out at me immediately was its color. Look at this beautiful red color on the inside, this velvety, brilliant red, very, very uh, bright, vibrant, deep, and it's just unlike any other shade of red that I had ever seen in the woods before. Looking closer, I saw this nice white creamy color to the outside. Ooh, very nice. And I also noticed that all of the red is on the inside. All the red on the inside and all the white on the outside. Interesting. Speaking of the inside and the outside, second nature clue that we can look at is its shape. First big part of the shape that I see are these wide bowls. It's shaped kind of like a bowl and the rim of the bowl kind of curves in a little bit. If I rub my finger along the edge, I can feel that the just the very, very edge curves in, curves in. And if I run my fingers along the outside of the bowl, I feel that it kind of pinches, kind of pinches down into kind of a stick, kind of like what at first I might think is a stem feels down into a little stick part right there, a skinny piece. Interesting. Third nature clue is what it is growing on. This kind of took me aback and surprised me because I would think something bright like this would be a wildflower growing right out of the ground. But no, this is no wildflower. This is growing out of a wet, dead stick. Interesting. So. Let's put our nature clues together. We have something growing out of a wet dead stick that has a skinny little piece on the bottom that opens up into this really cool bowl with a curvy rim. And we have the outside of that bowl is kind of creamy white and the inside of that bowl is just shocking brilliant red. All together, all of those nature clues tell us that this is scarlet cup. Scarlet cup, it's a type of a mushroom which is kind of like a flower or a fruit for a fungus for a fungus. Now, funguses are a fascinating group of living things, fascinating group of organisms that do many important jobs for us. And scarlet cup is one of the most important. Scarlet cup and funguses like scarlet cup live inside dead stuff, like this big dead stick that's all wet. And they slowly, slowly break these dead sticks down into soil, into dirt. And of course, from there, all living things on the planet depend on soil. You think about where the, the plants will grow out of that soil, and then there will be thousands and thousands of different animals that will eat those kinds of plants. And then there are thousands and thousands of other animals that will prey on those animals, on and on and on, through the food web, supporting all of nature and indeed us as well. So. If you want to put your nature detective skills to the test this Earth Day, take a look for some spring funguses blooming, some mushrooms coming up out of the ground or dead sticks or even living trees sometimes. These mushrooms can be a wonderful and very bright sign of spring who are also behind the scenes, whether we know it or not, helping us and helping all living things exist in all different ways every single day. Thank you so much for joining me for today's nature mystery. If you have any questions about Scarlet Cup or other funguses, you can pop a comment in the comment section below the video. And of course, as always, share this video with your friends to put their nature detective skills to the test and pop a like on Letra State Park's Facebook page to stay tuned for more nature mysteries.